guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you're very acid darling thank you guys so much for clicking once again if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and to all my ogs you know what to do comment down below let me know gang gang now over the weekend we had two major announcements now first of all we had the popular gospel artist moses bliss announced his engagement to his lovely fiance she's Ghanaian, of course a believer based in the uk and the internet went agog and also over the weekend popular actor kunle remy got married trust the internet to go in now on this particular video we're going to be talking about the angles that people were bringing in concerning modesty instagram buddies and all of that in between so guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section before we dive right in hope you have liked and subscribed already thank you so much i want to make a quick announcement your girl is live on facebook i've started pushing my content on facebook you can check me out at acid darling vlogs just the same spelling and also acid darling is also live on facebook please give me a like leave a comment there on facebook and tell me your coming from youtube it will mean a lot to me now let's get right into today's topic my name is asitonka agri abba and channel is called acid darling because i'm such a damn <laughs> So first, I'm going to be playing this clip that I think encompasses the angles that people were bringing in concerning modesty and um, um, how modest and covered girls are winning. So first, we need to point out that Moses Bliss is a, is a believer. Moses Bliss is not just a gospel singer. He's a minister. That means somebody like um, Spyro that sang, uh, who's, who's your guy? Spyro is a musician that is a Christian. Is different from a gospel artist. So I don't know how you feel Moses Bliss should play with his destiny like that and marry an Instagram buddy. Moses Bliss, right from time, the eyes were definitely church people, but a church person, a believer, a Christian. That wasn't even the angle that pushed because this particular clip, I want you to watch it with an understanding. Just let me know your thoughts if she's making sense or not. You see these two couples here? All I see is transactional 101. You are the one who is looking for love. You are the one who is looking for somebody that will marry you for who you are. Men are not built like that. I have told you, people, stop watching Hollywood. Stop watching Bollywood. You will not hear. You think it's all about modesty? You did not see the, the powerful women? Your eyes will clear. Would you have both? Modesty without wealth is what? Poverty. Modesty without education is what? Poverty. No man is going for your filthy modesty if you cannot offer anything. Are you there? Men have been standing on business from time immemorial. It's not going to stop today. Marriage for young men is much more than uh, modesty and love. You got to support. You got to bring something to the table. If you cannot bring something to the table, your family has to bring something to the table. Or your passport has to bring something to the table. Hey, somebody say amen. This particular move is common among young men who are trying to start a family. They are not going to go for your praying warrior ass if your family is not well to do. Or if you yourself, you are not like a PhD or BSc older. You see this Moses case now. Do our citizenship don't show for them. At least you're not going to carry a Nigerian passport worker. And our brother, on the other hand, I'm very sure that his wife is also a dual citizen. What happened? Two plus two is equal to four. Oh, it's because they do, 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 do. Shut up. See, when it comes to marriage, men only involve themselves in transactional relationship. You are the one that is looking for love. Who sent your daddy? Ah, ah, wake up. Come off it. I just pray, see me kunle no mess up. Because connection don't dig ground. Financial support is going to ensure. Oh, modest girls are winning now. Are you from a wealthy family? No. Do you have a dual citizenship? No. Are you highly educated? No. So you do not have these three qualities. And you are looking for somebody like Mrs. Bliss. Oh, it's Ballet. You are looking for somebody like Kule Revi. Ori Tosh. You think it's about modesty? It's much more than modesty. Oh, I can never be with a man who asks me what I bring to the table. You do not need to ask these females, these their wives, what they bring to the table. Because it's obvious what they can offer at the table. And most importantly, to the men who are feeling pompous and feeling special that, oh yeah, modesty, come here. Are you aware that you can never be in a relationship with this kind of women and still be the head? Kole possible. Oh, my worship warning. Tori, oh, fair, miss out. You don't want to lose. You don't want to fuck up. All those behavior of you calling your woman. Where are you? Come home. Bring my kids home. I don't want to see my kids outside. These are not the kind of women you can try that nonsense with. 
I think enough is a word for the wise or a word is enough for the wise. Pick your own and do what you like with the information. Thank you. Hey guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. She said a lot of things and I took note of some of them because I want us to talk. First of all, she was like, these relationships when it comes to Moses Bliss and also um, Kunle Remy, they are transactional relationships. Now, right off the bat, I know that some people are going to argue, but I want to say it's not, I, I wonder why it's surprising. Why, why are you surprised? We talk openly as ladies about marrying somebody that has a focus, marrying somebody that brings something to the table, marrying somebody that is... In fact, women will be like, I can't date you if you're not rich. Doing was saying, I can't date you if you stay in the mainland. I can't date you if you cannot pay business class tickets. Well, women are very vocal about setting their boundaries of what they want and all of that. Why are you shocked when men do it? I don't understand. Why are you shocked? I don't... How? hey jesus it's making me laugh that you think that some of us have children you think i almost died to give birth to micah for him not to have sex oh god <laughs> hey jesus they play my fans they play <laughs> it's not possible the reason yeah you if you're angry at this type of thing eh, wait bomb boy first hold on don't be angry first you when you when you give birth to your son allow him to go and play away people are setting compass for their future we are angry this thing is not surprising as far as I'm concerned. I'm very vocal, especially because I have like lots of male friends and I tell them, as you're going out, you can be a nice guy all you want, but go for, uh, because you can't say, oh, I'm in love with 10 people. Love is easy now. It's easy to love people. Now, inside these 10 people now, which person brings something that at least, see, transaction day it goes every day some people are marrying people because of share workers some people are marrying share in canada day some people they marry because they know say the boy day here they will not have pr and they will come it's simple some people are marrying and then sometimes i see single girls that be like oh no i don't today this guy i feel like he wants to use me for my pr something gives a lot of people use people both ways both the guys use the girls the girls use the guys nobody really knows that's why in one of her statements she was like hope kemi um kule doesn't mess up by the time you enter some uh, some kind of relationship and eh, you know that is beyond the two of you quarreling Igbo people have gotten this thing this formula since it, the, the fact that it's coming out now is, is because okay social media and some of these people are, f are famous in the east families they nine they marry now i'm bringing my son bilonia's son marry bilonia's daughter they play be watching Hollywood and think that your cassava will fall on the wayside. The prince will pack it and do what is all that. What was that? Families are joining in business ventures and partnerships so that if this man, this billionaire, says he he has kept seven billion for his grandchildren, he knows the quality of grand. Like he don't set for lineage. Lineage is not surprising, my sister. What can we do? What can you do? Set yourself up. Get educated. Start making steps. Start thinking. Start self-development so that nobody asks you what do you bring to it. That question is even insulting because the truth is some people are just youth coppers. You just graduated. Which table again? That's the first thing you ask. What table? Is it not now that I just finished school? What table? But self, the moment you know yourself that even as you're finishing school, probably you want to get married right, right out of um, youth service and all of that. Hope you're not a liability, yo. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So one of the things she said is, it's not only to blame. If you if you agree or disagree, of course, it's an open space. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And um, I agree with the fact that she said it's not all about modesty. There are many girls in choir, in um, different places in Nigeria here, that would have fallen head over heels for Moses Bliss. It's not you his heart went to. It's not, there's nothing wrong with your own. There's absolutely nothing wrong. But sometimes... You, people need to follow the spirit. It's not that the spirit is saying I'm only one person. No, me personally, I don't believe that. But some people have different things. There's no way in this seven billion, it's only one person that is your wife or one person that is your husband. But in the, in the, in the, how will I put it? In the pool of people you have, definitely the spirit can tell you amongst those people you have. But if you were in a different country, you will have a different pool of people. And the spirit will tell you in those pool of people, the person that is your partner. Guys, let me know your thoughts. If you believe, it's not biblical or anything. It's just my own personal belief that it's not possible that in this whole seven billion only one person ah that's for me oh. and she made one statement that is something that whether we go print and for shit she said modesty without wealth is poverty modesty without wealth is, edu is um, without education is seen as poverty because when you see a modest girl and then there's no money to clean those are the people you look down on why 
are we shouting modesty as if you don't look down on them? When we talk of even people that keep their natural hair, it is so expensive. When I was on natural hair, the products I use on my hair, Oh, Jesus. The, the cost of maintaining natural hair is not easy. And then you say modest people. There are some people that are super modest. That, that, that these influencers I follow online. Oh, they are dressing so modest. If you if you price one of those, their, their jackets, $300. Be playing. Modesty has, like, to be modest eh, and classy is a different kind of money. Yo. All these shower looking dresses are very cheap. They are for the, try modesty now if easy. Hey, rapture. Just one nice, you know, all these um, nice jackets. Ha! Hey! The amount they will knock you. Hey! You say if you go tired. It's not out of place for a man to choose a partner in a family that, in a setting that, in a place that he feels that there is, there is something that he gets. It's not out of place. Me personally, I don't believe so. I believe that everybody must have something that they, that they hold there. Because this kind of families is not where you go and be doing that your nonsense. So. This one now you are entering a family that they are serious minded. So if you are if you are playing aside, play aside. When you come to this, there's a different level of seriousness. Before you before you want to break up now, actually those ones billionaire marry billionaire. Before you want to break up, you have to think of how many how much billion that your father is still handling in contracts with your in laws and how many these are there are different steps. There are different steps. You find out that those marriages, hey, I see they don't last. They don't last. Love, the one that is love at first sight, love in the junction. Waiting go scatter, go scatter. The one that is my father called her, my mother called him. If you go scatter, you go scatter. There's one Bella Ninja story that was about a woman that's basically her, the teller in the bank. Very fine girl, tell her in the bank. She kept asking, ah, you don't worry. She helps her. She does everything. Then she kept asking, ah, are you dating? So she said, no, ah, my son will marry you. My son will marry you. Eh, we are this son. The son is in US. This woman sets this in compass for her son to marry a bank there. They are based in the US now. She has, I think the last time I came across her post again, she had a daughter and then she had twin boys. Just like that. In that case, now it's a different thing. But it's not every time. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. They say something must give. Oh, it's either your family. Because this lady we're talking about, she's the niece of um, Femi Otedola. The billionaire Femi Otedola. Some people marry based on family. So um, if you talk about family, the, the, the family that knows, that has understood this marriage formula is the Indimis. The Arewa Indimis in the north. Oh my God, they are the most power. That man has the most powerful in-laws in Nigeria. I'm sure that is not a part that people have thought to. Listen, he has a daughter married to a Babangida. He has the one that is married to Dan Tata. He has one that is married to Buari, the re Buari, yes. He has um, 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 Emir of Zazu, one of the sons married to an Emir of Zazu's um, um, daughter. He has Sheriff in his house. He has Yaradua. In his house, he has ha ah, who know that this my house. Jeez, everybody that is in the elite squad. I'm not talking APC PDP, I'm talking money on a different level. Are his in laws, and now what that does to his you think Indimi went to have plenty of children to come and help do poverty elevation in the north? Not at all. These people are these people are entering into joint ventures, families are mixing, and now because these children roll in a certain circle, and then you. You have a boy and you're now the governor of a certain state. Is it not for you to tell the son, sorry, oh, let's be going for party in Indimi's house. Out of all those his remaining daughters, you go see the one where you go love. Ah, no, I see they don't to do things like that. It's, it's because you don't used to hear these people say, ha, hey, God. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If this thing is not news, people are setting compass. Oh. You do, where do you think they meet? You think it's all this chance meeting? Ah, friend, sister. The girl was based abroad and the father now called, oh yeah, come now. He said, no, he saw this. I want to progress in my career. You know, even answer her. Came one day, he organized party. Tell his sons, to, his friends to bring their sons. Tell her, oh yeah, they choose. Choose husband. Ah, I like this one. Point this one. I like. She's married with three children. Be playing, my fans. Be playing. Oh, God. What people are doing? <laughs> it's not. They do it to shout. They are not coming out to say, oh, she even mentioned that. How will you just sit and think that by chance, somehow, somewhere, these people will. I feel like we should tell ourselves the truth, though. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just the way it is. Debola Williams. Would Debola Williams have married a regular Lagos girl? 
In fact, people that know me know that me and Debola Williams will still have a bone to settle since he decided to bring Debola Lagos, the one that did campaign for Buari, that brought Buari. Ah! I see the quarrel with him. But one thing that I saw that he got right was his wife. Ah, when I heard that he was marrying Otumba Benga, Daniel's um, daughter, I said, shit, this guy understand the formula. This guy on... I was I was happy for him, even as I the vest for him. I was happy for him because... Understand, eh? There's an amount of... How do I put it? There's an amount of um, development you've put, you've put on yourself as a guy. That you've looked at it and said that. For where they go, are they suspect saying one run for governor or one of these things? No wahala. And now you enter, even this elite, you know most of these elites have daughters. And they too are looking for successful young men. This, the people that you are up against, don't be smart, you know. Because even you thinking that, oh, it's the young men that are going to look for their daughters. No, they also, they are looking for those people that are doing well, people that have a good head on their shoulders. To say people like, ah, daddy, I like this person. Ha, ah, call him, young man. Come, come around, have dinner in my house. You get cheer away, go sit down. You get smell away, go pursue. You'll be like, hey, God, is this family I want to find wife? These things happen. No? <laughs> I feel like the comment section was just making me laugh. But she's she's saying the truth. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. They said, um, one of the things she also said was men are only involved in transaction. I don't think it's only men. I think we men, men, everybody. The, you cannot just en open your eye and enter a relationship or a marriage that you know that in this marriage there's no peace of mind. This person doesn't have sense. I'm just going based on love. It's not possible now. Everything is transaction. Why, is, why will you say, okay, it's, it's not transactional? Like in what sense? Oh, I married a man that I know that can take care of the home. Is that not transaction? Like you marry someone that has money now. It's still this. You, do not, you do not look at a bad person and say, this is my love. You have to do something that benefits you. And I don't think the word transactional like that is the blanket term to use for it. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And one of the things she also uh, listed, say, asking, you can't ask this kind of people, what do you bring to the table? Because it's obvious. For me, I feel like that's an insult. Any relationship where you deal with the person, they ask, what do you bring to the table? It's an insult. Are you, you're supposed to have, within the period of your relationship, within the period where you are talking, expressed yourself in a in a way that is intelligent, that shows that this girl is heading somewhere. Whether you don't have 50 naira in your pocket, you're heading somewhere intellectually. There are things that, there are different things with your personality. Because right now, eh, hmm, they're not first winners, one not. Based on family ties, money and the rest. You cannot now have bad character, my dear. You know, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. You, you're having bad character. <laughs> you're hearing passports. You're having bad character. <laughs> Is there another thing that she observed? She said to the guys, these relationships um are the these ladies are not the kind that you boss them around, they bring energy, they bring this. I feel like that's also another thing that people need to be aware of. I'm sure they're already aware of. It's not that they don't know, it's just that some people will still try. Because they feel like if, if you marry somebody that has low self-esteem and then he marries into a big family. You think he will be nice because he has lost? No. Sometimes they still try to even assert dominance, to start beating the girl, to start... And you'll be like, is it not your village people that hate you? It's just that they feel that this thing that was so high for them to achieve, now they have achieved it, they should find a way to make it sit down and respect. You know that kind of... Ha. Hopefully these people are not, of course, um, the minister and um, the actor. Hopefully they don't fall into this blanket thing because I know that it's something that happens. So it's not a thing of, oh, see these people, um, these ladies, because they're educated, they have um, this. I think Moses Bliss's um, wife, she she studied law. I don't know the course that um, uh, Kunle's wife studied. These are people that are well-educated in UK. It's like UK, the winners, because most of these people are based in UK. It's not for you to say, I see, but me, I'm educated. I have second passport. At least I don't get two out of the three, even though I'm not from like a rich home. I think another thing eh, for me to also tell you truthfully is that as much as there are people that want women that are successful, they don't really know what they want because with success comes somebody, like you marry somebody that is intelligent. Hope you know that you'll be ready to listen to her side. Like she's intelligent. You cannot marry an intelligent person just for DNA so that you can produce intelligent offsprings. And when she comes into your house, you silence her intelligence. Like, don't even bother. Why are you marrying an intelligent person? So people marry intelligent people and want to act like, oh, why are you? Or maybe you marry somebody, she's all of that. And then anytime she gives suggestions, it'd be like, why are you bossing me around? Why are you so 
uh, um, trying to form boss lady. That's inferiority complex talking. As far as I'm concerned, it's inferiority complex to a high degree. Because ability to express in terms of emotion, in terms of ideas, should not be a way to... How would I put assert dominance? But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Women that are doing well, suddenly you marry somebody and at every slight talk, he wants to make sure that, ah, you, you're too small, you're too little. And you, madam, that you know you were flying high the moment you married, your self-esteem has come down, my dear. Not be so. Like I said, I don't advice on this channel, but hope this particular part I explained has helped somebody. He go like this. You go like this. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's just read some comments. Somebody said, um, we will get at least two of the qualities. We are still not married. I've seen ladies with all the qualities and more, yet they are still single. I've seen women without these qualities married, the best men, and empowered by their husband. The truth is there are no rules um, in to getting a partner. Fantastic. F I love it. Good comment. But understand you know there's nothing that is absolute in this life there are people that have entered husband's house from club from junction from anywhere everybody knows what they are looking for you can marry straight out of nyse i married out of nyse i'd not started my business nothing you can marry out of nyse some people they even meet during university no wahala yes marry that one you must not even be wearing modest clothes that's nothing but i'm saying that even as a guy for you to assume that because a couple of people have gone to marry girls that probably they don't they didn't need to have any of the qualities empowered them. Is it not which day Miss Universe married a billionaire and people were talking? Ah, he's very old. Uh, his wife had died though. She all his children are, are older than her. And so that is who he chose. And she chose him. What she brought to the table was the fact that your wife is Miss Universe. Are you playing? Do you get? He didn't just go. I'm sure that that man saw other maidens in the village with character, and uh, they used to carry power. Why didn't he marry any of those ones? Because he can. Even in this person, that some of these people that are saying, "Oh, they marry somebody that is this." If you find out, if the woman doesn't have all those qualities, she'll be fine. She doesn't have all those qualities. Is bomb bomb. There has to be something that attracted the man. Are you trying to say that she didn't have anything at all at all? If she doesn't have anything at all at all that you can see, she has good character. There has to be something now. There has to be something. Is it transactional? Is not transactional? Where are we standing? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Where are we standing? Me, personally, I'm saying that whether or not it's Moses or Kunle, men are allowed to have standards in who they marry. Of course, they cannot marry everybody. Of course, there will be men that will marry anything. It's fine. Of course, there are women that will still see, I love you from my heart. I will marry anything. It's fine. But there are still some people that will say, no, this person I want to marry. As women have list now, you have list of qualities. Men too have list of qualities. Some of them, their qualities include she will cook food every day. She will do this every day. You think it's not achievable until you see a woman that is ready to do all those things. Then they, I eat only fresh food. And my wife is supposed to come home later, 6 p.m. My dear, oh, this man is just thinking of, up. Oh, hey, my, my sister, there are people that would do all the things in that his list. They will do everything. To the end. And then you see her outside and you're like, ah, why, how come this one is married? Where did she get husband? Where did she get? You don't know people's stories behind closed doors. Well, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Next video, we're going to be dealing with the Toyosi part. You know, Toyosi, the wife of um, Eti Mefiong, she dropped a post that a lot of people had to run into her. But I'm going to be dropping my hot takes concerning what we think um, about her post. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this angle that this lady is saying? Um, what do you think as ladies that we can do? Personally, I would advise more self-improvement more self-improvement 2024 be selfish with your time be selfish with your time i don't get whether you're in your husband's house whether you're in a relationship whether you're in your inside engagement or whatever i need to see that you're doing a course you're doing something you're applying for jobs you're doing a professional certification self-improvement there has to be something of what that you're doing i know i know i know it's not everybody that probably has the means or whatever but there are courses that are free on coursera there are some courses that are ten dollars on udemy just improve yourself a little a little by see eh? and one other thing i need to add um stop looking for encouragement and uh, stop looking for encouragement some people will be like oh nobody's encouraging me. encourage yourself 
Oh, I married somebody. You did not encourage me. Encourage yourself. This other person married. They encourage. Encourage yourself, ma. Encourage yourself. When you start doing well, encouragement is not what is the last thing you want. When you start doing well, nobody will need to encourage you. They'll be clapping. That's the time everybody will say, "Oh, I was there when she started." So try as much as possible, so that when you read posts like this, it will not pain you. Somebody will post this thing. It did not pay me because it was just true. It's true. This is this is life. It's life for you. Somebody even asks, why is Copy still single? Copy is single because the same thing. She has to see somebody that fits the qualities of which she has kept. And that's because she's a lady. It's not a guy that will come. There are guys that will, are ready to marry Copy tomorrow. But is she ready to marry you? That's also another point. People say, oh, these guys that they go for this modest girl. You have to also understand that the modest girl need to agree to marry you. Those modest rich Passport holders need to agree to marry you. It's not just one-sided. Uh -huh. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you a famous um, um, gospel artist? Are you a popular actor? So, waiting gum your body, you too, sir. That you feel like you stand a chance. Because it's both ways. You understand? It's this way and it's that way. Guys, let me know. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. Remember, we are live on Facebook at Acid Darling Vlogs and Acid Darling. You would be seeing all of the updates, everything you need to know on Facebook as well. I'm going to be posting on both areas. So if you're more familiar or you're more comfortable with Facebook, I'm also going to be posting there. Thank you so much for watching. I remember your girl, Acid Darling. Please check out my other videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys! Why you give me that song?